We are back out of the container. Today is a big day. I'm so excited about today because we're putting walls up. The legendary goat barn container project is something new for us. It's been dreamed up by our daughter Adelaide and being funded by you. We're converting a shipping container into a full-fledged goat barn, feed storage, and milking room, and we're on an incredibly tight timeline as the kids are due in the next several weeks. So far, we've had the container delivered, refenced our property around it, cut out and installed multiple windows and doors, framed the inside, ran electrical, added spray foam insulation, and now it's time to close it in and build the kitting stalls. We're just doing plywood, keeping it cheap, well, as cheap as we can, and, uh, we're gonna start here in the feed room. We need to do the ceiling first and then the walls. This will give us like an area that nobody really sees so much to practice on. So we're just gonna make sure it looks good and then we'll move on to this area where the kidding stalls will be. And last will be in this milk room. So by the time we get to the milk room, we will for sure know what we're doing and making it look 100. So I made it to I made the ceiling as complicated as I could. <laughs> Actually I just wanted to do it kind of like the shed where we cut plywood in two foot by four foot sections and offset them on the joists. Um this takes a little more time. Yeah it does. Uh, a lot of measuring and remeasuring and recutting. Um but I think we're good. We only have these little, two little sides sides left to do and we're gonna break for lunch, grab a quick sandwich, and get back out here. And then I, what I would like to do, is it okay with you if we finish the ceiling and then put the walls up in here mm -hmm. and have like one finished room? Yeah, I think uh, I wanna make sure the feed room is not as important. Right, I'm, so, it's like a practice so room. So we can make our mistakes here. Yeah, yeah. I mean there's only one uh, thing to go, one obstacle to go around on the walls is just that light switch, so. And those, the light turned out really well, so yeah. I'm happy with where we're at so far. Ooh, sandwich. Is it sad that we're excited about we're sandwiches? We're excited about the sandwiches. <laughs> mm, poor OG. Poor OG. We're back out after lunch. We're gonna finish no the ceiling on this. We're having problems. No. Someone's no made problem. this way too complicated. Listen, I made it cool. I didn't make it complicated. I made it too cool. In the milking room, or sorry, not the milking room, in the feed stalls, we're I think gonna we're gonna do, do much larger <laughs> panels and not make so many cuts. Because there's too many cuts. This was that's what, the reason that we started in the feed room is so we could see if this is how we wanted to do it. It's not. Now we know. Guess what measurement? Exactly six in the eight. Ceiling and the feed room is done. <laughs> the ceiling, you mean? That's what I said. Oh. I thought you said the feed Did room I not just stuff. say the ceiling in the feed room? I, I think I just so. said the ceiling in the feed room. <sighs> All right, time to do the walls. So go faster because we're just going to put up big old pieces of plywood. Heartache until I saw you lie. 
are you doing? I don't have a table saw. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, oh, I'm so tired of cutting wood. I never I'll thought I would say cut. that. What tracks cut? Where'd my pencil go? <gasps> Mom! Sorry, my, this isn't working for me. You need I a, need a pencil. You need and need a I can't real find, tool belt. I can't find my pencil. Not a pouch. I don't know where it went. <laughs> I'm getting sunburned. Can't complain, it's 70 degrees. Life is good, life is good, yeah. Life is good, life is good, yeah. Yeah, in my darkest times, you got me feeling like. We wanted to host a workshop this spring, but this goat barn container project has been taking up all of our time. So we're doing something different. We're here to announce the tiny shiny meet and greet. We're gonna spend the day touring our homestead, looking at builds like the solar shed office, chicken garden, super adobe dome, outdoor shower, and of course, the goat barn. There will be talks on solar power, rainwater catchment, berms and swales, gardening, and we'll be doing demonstrations of hyper adobe, super adobe, glass bottle bricks, and earthen plaster. You can get your hands dirty if you'd like, but this is definitely not a workshop. Now, Ashley's gonna be making some delicious food, and we're gonna close out the end of the day with a bunch of question and answers. This will be held March 16th and 17th, and signups are officially open. Yeah, you can pay with PayPal now, and we have new options for couples or families to make the sign-up process easier. We're so excited to see all of you there and to take a little break from this project. Uh -huh. So head over to tinyshinyhome.com slash meetgreet to get all the details and save your spot. We'll see you there. All right, we're back out here in a goat barn container, the legendary goat barn, and we need to install walls. But before we can install walls, we need to install the ceiling. And before we can install the ceiling, we need to install some vertical supports for the stalls because we're building them weird. But before we can install those, we have to install the floor. Yep. Guys, we're in here building the kidding stalls and my watch just went off with a notification. It says goats due in 10 minutes. I don't think that's right, but it definitely means we're getting really close, so we have to get this done. are going to be made with planks and they just slide into these slots so that if we needed to make a bigger stall we could take these out and combine two or three stalls we could have any size that we really want you know within reason if we want to like leave a gap we can put little spacers to where the goats can see each other they really like to be able to see out of things so we might put a few spacers in here just to like separate those boards a little bit, but not enough room to where like goats could get through. So I'm really excited about this. It looks nice. I'm gonna make them even better. It's gonna drive everybody crazy. Two by six, two by four, two by six. Everybody's a little anal around here. Ceiling's gonna be a nightmare to do though. Good. <laughs> so many things to cut. All right. 
right, moving right along to the next step. Now, these are in, we can start putting the ceiling in. Definitely gonna do it different than the last time. Probably a little bit bigger pieces so we don't have to cut so many times, but there's still gonna be a lot of stuff to cut around, so keep going. We did it, almost, uh, almost. Uh, it's exciting to see the stalls up. Uh, we still gotta build the fronts and the gates, but then we also got half of the ceiling up and it was definitely the most difficult half of the ceiling. Got more than half. Yeah. A little bit. So these will be really nice, long, easy pieces and then we can put the walls up. We also did the floor today. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have for the floor. Uh, you guys put the floor down, it looks really good. Uh, this is gonna be really great for keeping the wood safe from all the goat stuff. <laughs> so the plan is tomorrow we're gonna get the rest of this kidding stall area completely covered with the walls. It's optimistic. It is optimistic, but you know what? <laughs> That's what we are, optimistic. Yes? Okay. <laughs> Good morning, friends. We are back out today. Uh, it's a little rainy this morning, so Ashley has gone to get some more materials to finish building out these stalls. Um, the girls are doing horse lessons, so I'm going to come in while it's nice and quiet and I can really focus and work on uh, putting in outlets and light switches. I'm not going to put the actual light fixtures in yet because we still have a lot of plywood to slide up. Um, onto these walls and I don't want it to get in the way of that, but I should be able to go ahead and install most of these other things so that we can just get one step closer. <laughs> this morning trying to get more work done. We have this done. We have our first boards up on our wall. We have the face of the stall done. I still need to make a door for the stall, but right now we're going to concentrate on getting the walls in. Well, the lower walls in first, and then we're going to finish the ceiling and then come back and do the upper walls. Jonathan's still doing electric, but he should be done soon which means he can help us with more ceiling work when we get to it. So, busy morning. I need you to get 
one trash bag out and I need you to take that one and empty it and replace it with an empty bag. Okay? This morning we are headed into the big city or the small town that is nearby and we are going to get our goat kidding supplies. There's just a few things that we need to get. We have a lot of it but just some things that we want to get in case of an emergency and we need to pick up more lumber and we need to get some groceries. So trip into town it is. Jet's super excited. Stop number two, goat supplies. All right, we're off to a late start today after running into town for all the errands. So first order of business, we need to take that ceiling panel down then we need to notch here so that I can put our supporting wall brace up against this joist and then finish the ceiling. So why are we running more vertical posts? Oh, let me show you. Okay, before I had just had this little section of wall here with a two by four and it wiggled and wiggled and I knew I should have done it this way but I was hoping I wouldn't have to because it's such a short wall but with having big dogs and goats that like to jump on things um, we decided to just go ahead and notch out the ceiling panels and put the proper support in. Okay so we have to build three more or two more of these right? Two more of these yeah we need one when you first come in the door and one down here. We're gonna leave that last little area open um, and decide later if we want to close that in for something it's a little smaller than all these and we we're just planning on putting storage there. Adelaide's gonna do all the work today by herself and she's gonna get it all done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We need to put that ceiling panel back up yep. so we can measure for all these other ceiling panels. this door can go on. It can either go with a hinge here 
and the door opens this way and lays flat against this, which might look nice. Jax thought it would be a good idea so that, because if the hinge is here and the door opens inward, that takes up a lot of space where the goat is, mm -hmm. like it'd be hard to get the goat out. What we can do is build, go ahead and build this one. We can see what it looks like before we install. Yeah. Let's, do that. Let's do that. That's a nice looking door. Mm -hmm. Who built that? <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> I like the design of it. Yeah. It's yeah. simple, but I like the contrast of the vertical boards next to the horizontal. Let's get hinges on. Jax, do you want to help get hinges on? We built a door. I like it. Me too. Do you like that it goes on the inside instead of the outside? I think I will like it. I think it'll be less hallway mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we still need to come up with a latch to keep it here when they're not in kidding season. We'll just keep it open. Yep. And then we need to find a latch right here for there. But I really like my favorite thing is that these are vertical next to the horizontal. Mm -hmm. Just gives it something new to look at. I like it. Me too. Good job, Ally. Thanks, Mom. Good job, Jax. All right, next up, we got our door done. So we're gonna move on to making our wall right here for this next stall. It's actually the first stall we started with the second. So we'll do the wall for there and then make a wall here. And then we can do more doors and maybe it'll be done raining and we can finish the ceiling. See how we make spaces between things? You can have a small space between things or you can have a big space between things. And it's very scientific and not very many people know about it. We are back in the barn and it's getting dark, but we've got a light here now, so that's nice. And, um, our visitor is like really in the way. Cloud. Seriously. <laughs> we keep trying to do stuff. Where I need to screw. It's exactly where Jonathan needs to be. <laughs> but we can't be mad at him. It's raining and he doesn't like to be in the rain. So he's um a little bit spoiled. <laughs> Cloud, why don't you come over here? Come here, Cloud. Yeah, go in here. Go in here. Okay, lay down. Lay down. How picky are we being on our spacing? Just a little bit. It's got to look right. Two type A OCD people working on a door together. It's hilarious. <laughs> but it does look good. Thank of course you. it does. We are back at the goat barn. Surprise, surprise. Um, this morning, we went ahead and put this last stall door on, but we switched the hinge around. Instead of going to the inside, we wanted to see what it looked like this way. And I think this does make way more sense because as you can see, clouds in this stall. And if I wanted to close the door, I'd just I'd run into cloud and I'd drop a tape measure. So I think we're gonna switch the hinges around. We'll just make sure we have something that to latch the door to this wall while, while it's open. And then another latch on this side when it's closed. So once we do that, we're done with the stalls, right? So we're done with stalls if we flip these around. Do you wanna do that real fast? Let's do so that. So we can just say we're done. And, and then let's get finished with these walls and ceilings. Yeah, we'll see.
on approximately week four of putting up plywood on the walls. No, it's not. It this feels like, like week four. four. It's not day four. It's, I think it is. We're in our second week. Let's look back. Because I'm pretty, it has not been a week. If it's you not include like the feed room, we've probably spent a week and a half. I don't think so. <laughs> Let's look back. How many days has it been? Da 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 da. And then it's going to show how. How many days has it been? I don't know. Why are we not cutting? Because it's not right. I did it. Did what? I flipped the bottom. Good job, Ada. I have made it to where I cannot measure another board. So Jonathan is taking over with all the measurements because I keep making mistakes. Right, babe? Right, babe. <laughs> so there will be no more measuring from me. You can do it, babe. Oops. Okay, I got this side. If you get this right. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. Just barely. It's just I need to go up a little bit higher. So it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then it's. It. It. Well, uh, oh my uh, god. Uh, <laughs> Don't judge uh, so fast. I'm a little impressed, but mostly just mad. <laughs> I'm mostly mad. Look at that. Look how good it is, right? I mean, they fit perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> no. I quit. I quit. Whoa! Oh, babe, you got to go stop. We <laughs> all go, whoa! Oh. All right, drill. Go, grab the drill, please. That's true. I don't have a drill. So I only have four screws. I have. That's a big fat problem. Okay, right there. That's a good idea. Hey, ready? Bang the piece of wood with the bat. Hey, Jax, do you want to build this? Do you want to do it? See what happens when you measure? Oh, no, see the... Oh, never see mind. See what happens when you measure? Hey, you know what? I said I'm not measuring anymore. Okay. Because of this very reason. Maybe we'll go faster. <laughs> Probably. No, it took, it took <laughs> a lot longer. That's why it's right, because I took a really long time. All right, we're Was going. it as long as it would take doing it three times? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a jerk. That's a fair point. You guys are all fired. <laughs> I'm so mad that this is lined up. I uh, don't have any more screws. We're out of the Here you go. Well, I just came to check on the goats, and it looks like Friday, maybe going to labor soon. <sighs> we do not have this barn ready. I need her to stop. <laughs> but she's making the same sounds that her mom does when she's in early labor. And she's huge and really swollen on the backside. So we're not done with the barn. Watches time. Good. Thanks. Tutorial. So we can keep it open and locked. Or We have working stalls. Now I just need to, you know, finish the walls. Oh, magic it. It didn't work, Jacks. All right, Jonathan's busy with work in the office, so the boys and I have cut a piece of plywood. We're gonna see if we measured it right. I know I said I was done cutting plywood and measuring, but Jonathan's not here to do it, so someone has to. All right, let's see if it fits. Are you bringing it in? Walk it to. Well, Here, how wait. is that gonna work? I don't think it's gonna work. Oh my god! <laughs> it is. It is your lingzi. What it's, are you doing? It's too big. It's too tall to go. Oh no! I'm gonna have to cut it in half because there's no way for us to stand it up against that. This is. That was just a wall. <laughs> um.
need to make a public apology, probably to my dad. Um, I've probably let you down because I can't measure a board and install it and have it be right. Is it your fault or is it my fault? <laughs> I think it's my fault. But I still don't know how to do it. Can't do it right. Save my life. Every now and then I'll get one right. But 90% of the time, nope. So, sorry, Dad. Hey, babe. Uh huh. Even though I can't cut a piece of wood to the right measurement, do you still want to be married? Of course, I still want to be married. That's why we make such a great team. You measure, I'll cut. Okay. Oh. <laughs> is officially paneled. Yeah, we're done with plywood in here, which feels like it took like three weeks. <laughs> I know it didn't, but it took four ever. Yeah. If someone was more skilled, they probably could have done it in a day. I mean, that's pretty good though. I mean, we learned a lot. Yeah. We learned that I can't measure and that Jonathan should be the measurer and well, Maddie's cut it. We learned that you can measure up to a certain point. I can't measure big pieces. I can measure small pieces. No, I just mean after you do it so many times. Oh, well, you're no. like, eh. I mean, even in the beginning, they were pretty wrong. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we are cleaning out all the floor um, to make it a place where we can get things out of the milk room to where we can install plywood in the milk room. Right. The the feed, like we got, we just need to clean up. It's a mess. We in need here. to use materials so it's out of the way so we yeah. can put feed in there, put the floor in. We need to. We just have stuff everywhere. We just need to use up the material so that we can organize yeah, it. Do a quick reset. Yeah. Quick organize. Because yeah. I mean, just just look look at this. Like, there's just there's stuff all over the place in here. We can't. We can hardly walk. So yeah, we're gonna. Now that this room is finished, we're gonna move some of the stuff into this little cubby I mean, right here. I do still have a little trim pieces to put up, but I can do that. Anytime. We don't even have those, do we? No, I can do it anytime. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting this <laughs> Alright, we're getting a little bit closer to being organized. We still need to find an adhesive to uh, this flooring will be up against that wall. Kind of come up like that and be fastened to the wall. Stalls are cleaned out and ready for straw. We've got Adelaide standing the next ceiling panel for the milking room. Jet organized the pack out. I think Jonathan is getting a couple more things, like big things that need to go in the milk room eventually. Just get them in here so they're out of the shed because our shed is a disaster. Everything's organized. This is all the power and supplies that we need for the rest of the week and the rest of the build. Working on the ceiling lives. panel. <laughs> so Jonathan, again, is going to measure for the two lights in here. And he's gonna make it perfect for a shot. That's right!
Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys got it. Hey, I measured that. Hey, good job. <laughs> Okay, we're done working at the goat barn for today. Dogs need to get out and play, so let's go check on the goats and see how close they are. All right, let's check on Friday because she seems to be the closest. So what we're looking for is her udder to bag up, and it's a lot fuller than it was yesterday. Very vocal today, which is what her mom does when she's about into labor. Ooh, she's close. You should feel that. Real close, Friday. You gotta wait for the fence. The way you think for Friday. I think she's still got at least a couple days. I hope so. I really need her to wait until we have the fence done. Yeah. Got me feeling like life is good.